fine. It's, it's, it's okay. Oh, there she goes. Okay, good. <laughs> so just remember it's being recorded. Um, we're going to have a little introduction. You can use a little 60 second commercial of who you are, what you do, and what a good referral would be. And don't forget to enter your info into the chat, which is good. Today, we're going to be listening to Michelle. Uh, Michelle is going to be moving over there. There we go. Michelle uh, Powers of Hemp Works. And today, Michelle will be giving a synopsis on the book, The Consistency Chain for Network Marketing, which I think is going to be a really cool topic. I can't wait to hear about it, Michelle. And moving on, we have what we call our helpful hints. And today, we're going to have our Christina of Multi. Multi market, sorry, multimedia content solutions. Is she still here? Oh, yeah, because I don't see her. Okay. And Christina will talk about PLR content. I'm not sure what PLR content is, so this is going to be really good for us. Okay. Next, we're going to have our weekly announcement. So if anybody has anything going on that they'd like to tell others about, or if you know of something going on in your area that you want to tell others about, that's where we do it right here. And be sure to type any links into the comments as well. Then we have our breakout room, but we're just going to keep it as one big room, which we end up usually doing anyway. And, you know, uh, topic this week, I thought it was kind of interesting. Have you done your Christmas shopping or started it considering the talk of all the shortages that there are going to be? So I don't know where you guys are at on that. And... Uh, uh, and then we'll have our free for all, which usually runs about 15, 20 minutes where we pretty much just talk about anything. If you got anything going on in your business, if you need maybe a little advice on something from other entrepreneurs, or if you just want to, I don't know, just chat. Sometimes you just want to get stuff off your chest. That's what we're here for. Again, this is about getting to know each other. And uh, is that the last one, Ms. Uh, Meg? Is that the last one before the welcome screen? It is. Okay. All right. So I'm going to um, stop screen sharing. Now. And we're going to go around the room for introductions. And it looks like April, you're first. April Van Tassel of In Infinite Digital Marketing and Web. Yes, Welcome yes. and tell us a little about yourself. Sure. Uh, thank you. This is my first time here. So I was excited to check this group out. Um, we usually have more people, but you know. Yeah, it's a Friday, so I understand. It's hit or miss sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I uh, own my own digital marketing and website firm. So I started that up and I work with business owners. I help them get found online and offline. I help them get more leads into their business so they can grow their business and revenue. Uh, I provide multiple services such as uh, social media, email marketing, SEO, build the websites, graphic design, you know, anything a business owner needs or a digital marketing website services, we're a one-stop shop for it all. Um, the professions I usually work with are bookkeepers, accountants, CPAs, um, uh, attorneys, any type of attorney, uh, specialty doctors like chiropractors, podiatrists, ophthalmologists, and dentists. Those are our, another one. Awesome. Wonderful. And don't forget to put your information in the chat. Um, thank you so much, April. Thank you for joining us. We hope to see you here every Friday. Our next person is coming right along is Christina. Okay, Christina, give it to us. Hey, I am a content writer and podcast editor. And sorry, I keep getting these notifications. Um, and I, I help my clients create the content that they need to get found in the online world that they may not have a team to create for them or the time to do for themselves. Um, so a, and I work with a multitude of niches, um, primarily I've been working with internet marketers, but I've also worked with, um, some real estate people and, um, I, one of my clients is a dating coach, you know, so there's really a multitude of, of niches that I can work with. Um, a good referral for me is anybody who has an established online business or presence um, and who understands the value of having content, but just can't do it themselves. 
Oh, very good. Very good. Thank you very, very much, Christina. Very good. Okay, next is Michelle Powers of HempWorks. Oh, good morning, good morning. And this is going to be great what I'm talking about as far as the consistency in our business and just doing one thing consistently every day. And at the end of the year, you'll have 365 tasks that you have under your belt. So that I'm excited and uh, working with, with both you, April and, and Christina with here because um, it's true. It, it's, it's so important to do that. Um, I am a, um, from HempWorks, which is a um, health and wellness uh, house of brands. We have eight different brands that we have under us. My main niche with that is working with um, people with uh, cannabis, CBD oil, getting them healthier. Uh, we all have an endocannabinoid system, which is kind of out of whack with everything that's going on with our toxics, uh, toxins and the food and GMOs. And so um, a good referral for me would be someone who just wants to just realign their body and start over, get healthy and stay healthy uh, in a natural way. So um, it's good for inflammation, pain, and I'll put my information in the uh, content down, down in our chat also. Thanks Ooh. so much. Thank and you, welcome. Michelle. Welcome. All right. And next we have Megan. Go ahead, Meg. Hi, guys. So Joe and I started uh, PNN to bring you guys together and get some really great relationships going. Um, but my, my day job, so to speak, I am the owner of Phoenix Variable, name to be changed in the future. Um, I am a bookkeeper and financial consultant. Um, I love to help businesses, families, individuals get into the best financial position that they can. And to help do that, I'm also licensed as a life insurance agent. I'm working on my investment securities licenses. Um, hopefully this, you know, by this time next year, I'll have all of those for New York. Um, but I love helping people to get a game plan, how to get out of debt and live their best life. So, and then on a little side note for fun, I actually have my online store is up and running. Woohoo! So you can go to megsmerch.com and I have a wonderful Shopify store going. Right now it has jewelry, but I will be having other things available there like nail art and uh, some other stuff. Um, I, I think I might have hubby interested in putting some of his heart artwork on some really amazing stuff. So keep an eye out there. So that's me trying to keep oh. under 60, but you know. <laughs> that was good. That was good. You're getting so much better. Really I am trying. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna have some other people popping in as we're going on uh, from looking at our chats. Uh, April, we'll get you into our chat as well. We have a chat group, mm -hmm. uh, as long as you don't mind, we'll get you in there. Um, anyway, my name is Joanne Segari and I, um, I actually am in a position where I really don't have a business right now. Uh, I've kind of backed off uh, a few things just because mentally I needed to. And um, so it's just me and uh, PNN uh, right here. So, um, you know, welcome. And uh, Megan and I got together and decided to put this together uh, because we were in an, a couple of other groups that we really didn't, you know, didn't think were really hitting the mark. So uh, we decided to, to, uh, to do this. And we, how long have we been doing this now, Meg? Who's it been? Yeah, about what? About a year. About. Just under a year, I want to say. Yeah. Wow. Maybe, well, fine. I want to say like April. April. But we've been doing like, uh, we tried other versions before that. Yes, we did. We did. So, so it's been about a year. So absolutely. And anybody, if you can invite anybody, everyone is welcome. It's free. And uh, we just together. Or professionals. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You're absolutely right. So there you have it. Joanne Zagari. Eventually I'll, we'll have a business. Thank you. Yeah. 
All righty. So we're going to move right along now to um, our speaker. And our speaker today is Michelle Powers. And I'm really looking forward to this one, Michelle. So hit it, girl. All right. All right. Thank you so much. And, and Megan, probably a helpful hint or something, if you could talk to us a little bit about how to do Shopify. I know nothing about that but I know it's an up and coming thing and I know a lot of people use it. So I'd be so willing, I'd be so interested in learning about that. I, I did a lot of YouTube videos, Good. pausing, yeah. doing, I, pausing, doing. Well, you know that I'm a retired teacher, so I'm giving you an assignment. Oh, I'm just oh giving you an oh assignment. Boy. Okay. You know, I can't help myself. I can't They're help very, myself. It's very involved. Shopify stores are very, very involved. Yeah. Um, but yeah, because she has nothing else to do, Michelle, right? <laughs> I know. Hey, yeah. she brought it up. She brought you don't don't bring true. something up if you can't talk. Very oh, true. wow. Very true. I Very can true. walk the walk. Don't, don't talk the talk if you can't walk the walk. There you right. go. Right. <laughs> All right. So Michelle, I'm going to I'm going to share my screen and um, hopefully I can do this. Yep. I'm gonna grab I, I did it. I did it a slideshow. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take it from my folder. Can everybody see my book? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. I don't know. So I have a um, pretty large team that I'm in, I'm part of, and we decided a while ago that we were going to let me just put you on the side. We were going to um, do a business book club every every uh, week. So this was a book we just finished. Uh, before that, we did Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, which has been an age old book that um, helps you with your mindset on business and, and doing that. But this this one consistency chain for network marketing really it, it hit a nerve with all of us, because when you're starting to go into a business and you're going to go network marketing or you're going to go online, People say, make your list of 100 people, get 100 people that you can reach out to. And that so flatlines so many people. They, they just, they can't do it. Go ahead, what, Megan, got your hand up. If you're wanting to show like slide, like the pictures, you might want yeah. to share your actual screen screen, not just this, because we will only see these little, we see your folder. We don't see the whole Picture. Okay, so how do I share my whole screen? Do so I do this? Do I bring it like that? If you unshare and then just share, when you go to share, share your whole screen. Okay, like so let me- Computer so desktop. Let, all right, so let me get out of this and then click on the folder then. Okay, I should have now, just gotten click on, maybe- Click on like the window screen, like to share your actual, like your desktop. All right. So that, is that right? Yes. Uh, and do then not make, okay, we'll do not make fun of all of, do not make fun of all the folders I have on my screen. I, 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 I have some ADD. Whatever I, works. I have to, <laughs> I have to look almost at it. Fall. <laughs> if, it's out, if it's out of mine, it's out of sight. Yeah. So now. There you, you go. Now? Yay. Okay. And now can you see that? Oh, that's better. Yep. Beautiful. Okay. Because, all right, now let me get you off of the top. Okay, well, I can't get you off that. But anyways, what the top says, we at times can uh, self-sabotage. And wait a minute, I want to do it this way. I want to, how do I make you go back over on the side? If you grab it from like the top, the bar at the top, you can actually okay, I got, make it. I got it you on the top. side now. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So these two gentlemen, George Campbell and Jim Packard, um, wrote this, and it's a remarkably simple process for harnessing the power of habit, elim eliminating self sabotage, and achieving your goals. If you do one thing every day, then you're changing a habit. And you're also formulating a habit that you can now accomplish. When we have 10 things that we have to do in a, in a day, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm a good list maker. I love to, to make lists, but it, it does tend to overwhelm people. So this consistency chain for network marketing de describes people, they put us into two groups. Are you an 80 percenter or a 20 percenter? So we're going to talk about that in just a minute. 
So um, this is a great book. I have it on audible.com. I listened to it quite a few times. Um, they're very interactive. It's a funny, uh, the Cindy uh, Tel Telesac, she's the narrator and uh, she's kind of um, goes in between the both, both gentlemen talking, but it's really a great, great book. So um, here is the beginning. Here's what a consistency chain is uh, defined as. Choose a meaningful direction, keep it simple, define the activity, start small and track your progress. So he has like a um, calendar. So when I reach out to one person a day, I just put an X on November 12th. That's all I do. I don't say who it was, just I did it, one thing. If you try to, to do too many things in one day, you get overwhelmed and an overwhelmed mind does nothing. They, they tend to go like, oh, uh, they zone right out. So this has been good for me because I'm a multitasker and I ha have um, adult onset ADD, which probably I had it when I was younger, but if anyone can relate to me to being a little ADD, um, you, if you are, you make a good network marketer because ADD, helps you to be able to multitask. That doesn't mean you completely comp uh, complete a task every day, but I can complete one task every day. And that to me has filled me with a lot of, um, of not, I don't want to say hope, but it, it, it tells me that I can be a better network marketing by just marketer by doing one thing every day. So that's, that's what a consistency chain is de definition of. The next one, the whole part of this is to do one thing every day comes into duplication. When I get new team members, if I tell them to go out and make a list of a hundred people, you know, they flatline, they can't do it. If I tell them to make, do one thing, reach out to one person every day, that's duplication. And when I, when you want to grow in network marketing, you want to keep it simple and you want to make sure that people you're, you're training on your team can duplicate getting a large number of people to do a few simple things on a consistent basis builds a healthy and large team of productive people, okay? So the next one, this is, this is how what separates who can be consistent. There's 80 percenters and there's 20 percenters. And I'm gonna give you some ideas of what, who comes into an 80 percenter and who comes into a 20 percenter. You want to strive for a, to be a 20 percenter because then you are focused, all righty? Next one. The 20 percenters do what, they, what needs to be done when it needs to be done consistently. The 80 percenters know what needs to be done, know how to do it, but their efforts are hit or miss, erratic and irregular. So in that case, there's no duplication because you are all scattered. And so that's why, you know, I believe I'm an 80 percenter in many things, but I try to be now focused on the 20 percenter on my network marketing business. OK. So what do the 80 percenters and the 20 percenters have in common? They're intelligent. We all are because we've we've decided to get focused on doing a business by our, in our, in not working for somebody, but working for ourselves. We have talent, we have motivation. We are always training. We train right here every Friday. I learn something new every Friday with, with this group. We're, we're pretty educated. We have ability, skills, and we have ambition. And to be a network marketer, you have to have, be self-directed and have ambition, or you're not really gonna go any place in the, in the network marketing. So let's look at this scale right here. We all know who this scale is. When you think of what an 80 percenter and a 20 percenter is, we all know Oprah. What do you think Oprah is? Is she an 80 percenter or a 20 percenter? Probably 20. 20. I want to say she's a 20 percenter, but she is a 20, she is a 20 percenter on her business, on Oprah, on her Christmas gift list, all in her, her TV show. But what is she an 80 percenter in that she doesn't do consistently? She's constantly trying to make it better. I don't know. Her weight. I was oh. going to say that. Yeah. Her weight. 
She's an 80 percenter on her weight and 20 percenter on everything else in her life. Mm -hmm. So she's constantly food is too good, Michelle. But I know it is. I know it is. I know. It is. But she's a, she's an 80 percenter on that. So in that in that respect, it holds her back on her weight. She she strives and she does very, very well with everything else. 20 percenter. But she's really working on trying to be a 20 percenter all the time. But weight is her downfall. So she's an 80 percenter on that. We all know who this guy is. And he is a 20 percenter because his goal, I mean, you know, we know uh, Seinfeld, he's been, um, he's been uh, successful in business and, and you know, on the, uh, the uh, market of uh, the circuit of, of comedians, but he's a 20 percenter because you know what he said to himself years ago, I'm going to do one thing every day. And what do you think that was? Be funny. Yep, Run I'm going joke. to write one joke every day. Oh, okay. And that is what he's done for the past 25 years of his life. Wow. wow. He's written one joke every day. He doesn't sit down and brainstorm a whole lot of jokes. He does one joke every day. And then at the end of 300, end of a year, he has 365 new jokes to pull from when he goes and performs, okay? So the difference being is that he, he knew that if I sat down and just tried to brainstorm, on my next gig of stand-up comedy, if I tried to come up with you know 25 jokes to tell, he wasn't gonna be able to do it. So he did one joke every day and he's done this for 25 years in his career, okay? So, all righty. So that is what I have right now, but I wanna just, I'm gonna stop sharing. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about what, doing one thing every day has done for me. Okay. So I'm an 80 percenter with my weight also. All right. I fluctuate back and forth, up and down. You know, when I said I didn't want to be 40 and fat, I didn't want to be 50 and fat. I didn't want to be 60 and fat. I didn't want to be 65 and fat. And then, you know, COVID hit. And of course, you know, we all got sucked into our own little living with ourselves. And I just said to myself, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to be 66 and fat. So January of 21, uh, you know, really kind of 20, I really kind of started in that. I just started doing one thing every day. I, I just, I said, I'm going to ride my bike every day. I'm going to go to the pool every day. And, and, you know, I'm down in Florida. So I was able to do that. And I'm also going to um, stop um, eating so many carbs. So I really kind of had three things I wanted to do, but I wanted to be consistent in those. I was never very consistent in those before and I lost 26 pounds. So right now, yep, yep, I'm telling you, I, before and after pictures of me a year ago, February, like, why didn't you tell me my face looks so big? You know, I was like, oh my God, when I look at pictures, but I wanted to be a 20 percenter on that. As far as my other niches that I have, you know, I, I work with teachers who are working with kids in crisis. I still kind of consult at BOCES doing that. And I, I do a 20% on that. I know that I'm good at that. Um, I started this uh, network marketing business after my husband passed away 10 years ago because he had um, a, a very insidious cancer. The pain medications were bothering him. His oncology nurse said, you know what? I think you should get him some cannabis. I think that would help him. And so I'm like, I'm a New York state teacher. I can't do that. But my son was 22. I'm like, here, some money, go get some pot for dad. We're going to, you know, so he you know, extracted the oil. It was a game changer for him, you know? So that started my passion on how can we help other people do things more naturally? Because really morphine was really what was ending his life faster than the chemo was because it, it's, it's opiates are just tough. They're just tough on your body so many other side effects. So then I just said, you know what? I need to be passionate about that. So um, when I decided, decided to do this, you know, my son had moved to Colorado. He said, mom, this is what I want to do. I saw how it helped dad. So I jumped onto that, that passion wagon with him. And I've been doing it now um, with HempWorks since 2018. So I think I'm pretty good at raising awareness about that. I think I'm pretty good about raising awareness about pancreatic cancer, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty good raising awareness on mindset. So I took each of my little 
you know, niches that I wanted to go through my sixties and seventies and eighties with, and I'm, I'm trying to be 20% at those. So I, I do something, one thing every day for each of those, whether it's a, um, a podcast on motivation for my mindset, um, uh, if it's my protein uh, shakes that I'm doing now, um, if I'm posting on, on Facebook, on raising awareness on pancreatic cancer, um, I really want, uh, Christine, I missed your um, 15 minutes on podcasts. I want to learn more about doing podcasts. Um, and, I, and I want to become more of a health and wellness kind of coach, you know, for, for lots of life things. And so though that's, I'm trying to circle those into being my 20% now. So all I need you to do is take from this. And when you, you know, get off of, off here today, just kind of make a list of what you think you are 80% at. And what do you think you're 20% at? We're going to work on the 20 percenters of, of your skill set, but we're also going to touch. I want you also to start touching on the 80%. What in your 80% that you do, could you transfer over into the 20% of the time. So Oprah did it. She decided to um, join Weight Watchers, okay? And while she did it, she said, well, gee, if I'm gonna do this, my name's gonna come with it. I'm gonna buy stock in, in, in Weight Watchers. So she's got a ton of stock in Weight Watchers. So now she's, her 20% on losing some weight is also making her some money. So, you know, we're all business-minded women and we, we think a little differently than, other women who don't have a um, home business. So we have a great brain. We just need to make sure we know what we're doing 20% to be a 20%er or what we're doing to be an 80%er, okay? And that's it. But it's a good book. I highly recommend it. That was Any very questions? amazing. Thank you, Michelle. You're Any welcome. questions for Michelle at all? And if, you, if you'd like at some point, um, you know, I don't know if I don't want to put too much on people's plate, but we could do this book and have our own little book club with a professional networking, you know, if you, cause that's, um, I, it, 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 it does a twofold thing. It helps with your mindset and it mm -hmm. helps with your skills on being a home business. But, mm -hmm. um, it really is, I get a lot out of it with my team by doing, um, we do a book every, we usually take a book cause we meet once a month, once a week on Wednesday nights for 40 half hour, 35 minutes, 40 minutes, maybe. Um, it takes us about two months to do a book. So um, there's no pressure. Bad but idea. I would love to do, do that. Yeah, I, I, I get a lot out of this. It. Maybe yeah. we can, like you're saying, you meet with your group, you know, for a half hour, 45 minutes on a night. Maybe that's something that we can can consider. That is just definitely a good idea. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. That's something I think. I like it. We'll have to think about that. Yeah. And yeah, try and see how we can schedule it out. Yeah. This is me. This is me. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> she's she's saying it. She's next to me that way. So I can see she's yeah. saying that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like, I, I barely get a moment to myself. I know. I know you have a lot on your plate. I know you do. But I do oh. make a point of reading at right. night. So it's right. just a matter of what I'm reading. But if you did, if we did this book and you did one chapter a night mm -hmm. or you did 10 pages a night, you pick a number, you yeah. pick what you want to do 20% of. I'm going to, I'm going to read Usually 10. it's until my eyes are just like, right. Yeah. Right. No. But I'm, going to, I'm, going to do, <laughs> I'm going to do five pages a night. I'm going to do, don't, don't go. I'm going to do five chapters. I'm, yeah. I'm going to go five pages a night. And, mm -hmm. and if, especially if you do it before you go to bed, then your brain has it in there and it just absorbs while you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, I heard that that, yeah. that happens. I like that's. It. I think that's a great idea. I do. Is everybody here like uh, up for that? I know Christina's. Yeah. Yes, April. Yeah. April's yeah. busy. April's got a little one. So yeah, yeah I know what that's like oh, all too well. Five times over this one. <laughs> Five times over with that. Yes, yeah. completely get it. But it would help you, <clears throat> and it not only helps you in life, or uh, rather in business. And then, but it also helps you in life as well. Yeah. You know, and I'm always that. getting really amazing, like with, uh, in my Primerica meetings, they're always dropping names of these really great books on like 
how to succeed and, you know, sales and stuff like that, that people are like, oh my God, you have to read this book. And some of them are like 20 years old, but they're like, it's still good. (laughs) So yeah, I, I have this book that I have to read and I keep looking at it and I don't pick it up or read it. Uh, Grant Cardone, uh, The Ten Times Rule. Oh, <clears throat> great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I have not I have it, but I haven't actually picked it up to read it. I don't know. But, I like he, but, he, books. but he also is, is a, a motivational speaker too. And he, it hasn't come out yet, but they did a TV show with him because he's a zillionaire, but they dropped him in the heart of L.A., with a thousand dollars in his pocket, that was it. Uh-huh. And he had to live, he had to build, he had to succeed. And they they did a reality show on him, and it hasn't come out yet. But I can't wait really? to see it. And he he made he made money while he did that. That's wow. right. Yeah, just That's by right. doing consistent stuff and 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 you know. But but Grant Cardone is a, <clears throat> is a great motivational speaker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But here he is. That's wonderful. Well, thank you very much, Michelle. And uh, <clears throat> well, you know what? In our PNN uh, chat group, we'll uh, we'll come up with a, an idea for the uh, for the book club, and um, I think we'll have Michelle Powers as the chairperson of that. I'd be glad to do that. Yep, <laughs> yeah. I'd be glad to do that. <laughs> the chairperson. I get <laughs> and uh, right. I think it'll be good. It's good to kind of like spread out, spread out your know, responsibilities of this. Delegate. Group. Delegate. Everyone. Yeah. Delegate. Delegate. Right. Yes. As long as you're willing. Yep. We're willing to give it. So yep. there we go. So well, and, that's awesome. and that might also attract some other people who can't make the 10 o'clock Friday meetings. Right. So yeah. potentially you could yeah. you know, like grow the membership as well. Pick it. That's so that's such a good idea, Christina. Like maybe pick out a good date and time that you're thinking of, Michelle. Um, yeah. you know, maybe pick out a couple and we'll look at it and we'll say, you know, what should we think? And then we'll put it out in PNN and and right. let them know a date date and time or you know what day and time it's going to be i think it's fantastic fantastic great great. all right okay so let's move on to uh christina christina is is talking about what is it again pl plr am i saying pl plr yes plr okay don't know what plr is so this is going to be really good excellent um and please i do not have a timer going so cut me off when you need to. Um, PLR stands for private label rights content. You may have also heard of it um, called done for you content. That seems to be the new buzz phrase. It's basically primarily written content that somebody, let's say me, has written on a particular subject for a particular niche that I am then selling to the public to purchase. So Let's say I have, you know, 101 Christmas cookie recipes. I have them all compiled. Um, and it's just, it's usually provided in just like a, um, a Word doc because the idea is, let's say everybody in this group here could purchase that from me, whoever the provider is. And then each of you can go into that Word doc and edit it any way that you want. So Michelle could, you know, put it all into a cookbook or Joanne could take each recipe and do um, like a lead magnet, you know, every day, if you opt, if, you know, for people who opt into her mailing list, she'll send you a new recipe a day kind of thing. Um, Megan could take these recipes. Let's say you have, because you're not busy enough, let's say you have, you know, a seasonal cooking blog or something, you know, these, you know, recipes could become content for that. Um, and April could have run out of ideas, but you could do, so, you could turn them into social media um, or videos, you know, maybe you could do a demonstration on video using that recipe um, and, and following the steps. So the idea is that it's saving you guys time because you don't have to sit down and physically write all of these things out. Um, so consider it like a ghostwriting shortcut, if you will. Um, and that's the beauty of it. I will say one thing, if you want to put PLR together as, a, as an ebook, 
Amazon will not let you use PLR and sell it on any of their um, platforms. And I don't know how, but in the almighty algorithm thing, they do have a way to check if that's, P if that's PLR. Um, now you can still compile your PLR into an ebook to use as a lead magnet to get people onto your list. Or if you want to sell it as an ebook, you can sell it on your own website, but just Amazon will penalize you if you use PLR. Um, the other thing is that because let's say hundreds of people are buying the same article packs, I highly recommend that you spend some time and really use it as a basis for adding your own data, case studies, descriptions, you know, use it as a starting block instead of just simply cutting and pasting. Because for lazy PLR purchasers, they will go into the file, oh, this is awesome, and they'll cut and paste, put it on their website. And then when somebody goes to do a search for that particular topic, you may find dozens or hundreds of websites that all have the same exact article because they all cut and paste and they didn't make it original. So the content most likely is still going to be excellent content, but you still want to make it your own, you know, add in your own experiences with clients. If you have a particular case study or, you know, anything to make it your own and personal, that is really a best practice so that, because, you know, if I go and look at anybody's website and I see an article that's coming up three, four, 500 times, I don't know who posted the article first. So it's like, okay, well, who's really the expert here? You know, um, and that's of course why we're all in business because we all are the experts and we want to showcase our expertise. So I do highly recommend that you um, edit your PLR. Um, you can also find PLR for what's called low content uh, products, such as journals, um, uh, calendars, uh, coloring pages, you know, the people, providers, you know, especially like the adult coloring books and stuff that I don't know if they're still big, but for a while they were huge. Um, you could purchase your own coloring illustrations, let's say, and you could then produce your own coloring book, you know, to have for sale or, you know, um, Again, you could use you know, the coloring pages for instance, or planners, planners are huge, especially at end of the year, you know, and planners don't require a lot of writing. Usually it's just you know, some sort of artwork, some sort of clip art or royalty free images that are arranged nicely with lots of blank space for your clients to, you can give it to them at the end of the year as a gift or they can purchase it from you. And it's a ready-made product that you did not have to spend hours and hours on Canva and anything with graphics is a total black hole, for, you know, rabbit hole for me. So I avoid it like the plague, you know? So again, you know, planners or anything that's low content um, is a considerable time saver. Um, obviously there are some things that you cannot, you know, replicate with PLR, such as your live videos, you know, videos in general, there was a time when you could purchase video PLR and I did because I was curious about it. And it was just about some basic, you know, internet marketing topic at the time. But that then gets complicated because the slides are usually very, very generic, but there's still a voiceover. And my opinion is anything with video, you want your own voiceover. 
because you're putting it out as your own. And this particular set had a male voiceover. I'm like, well, that totally doesn't make any sense at all. You know, and then I, it kind of snowballed into, well, I would want to have a script, which then requires hiring a transcriptionist to listen to the video and to create a script. And then I'd have to record the script, you know, and I can edit videos as well. So that wasn't the hassle part, but there were just too many steps. So my personal recommendation is avoid any kind of video PLR but you can certainly purchase done for you content to serve as your own video script. I have written um, hundreds of products for PLR providers, you know, some of which include webinar scripts. Um, you know, and even if you're not doing a full webinar, you could take that script and break it into you know, 10 or 20 small two minute videos if you wanted to, you know, and then you have the PLR already written out, just bullet point what you want to cover in each of your videos and boom, then you're just ready to push the button, you know, and that's good for people who are nervous about mumbling their words or getting tongue tied, you know, that's usually me. I like to have a bullet point um, list next to me before I start talking, you know, but there are others who just will not go on without reading a script and that's fine. So that's another thing PLR is good for. Um, even if you wanted to do a video of, uh, like screenshots, for instance, um, or screen shares or images, you know, you can still use the PLR to serve as your script for your own voiceover. Or if you want to hire somebody to do a voiceover, okay, boom, here's your script. Um, so it really, it, it saves a tremendous amount of time, especially for people who are not uh, confident with their writing skills. You know, that's my go-to. That's why I do what I do because I can just jump on and I can create something. But I have met so many people over the years who dread blogging and writing emails to their list because they don't feel like they know what to say or it's coming out very choppy. And, you know, they, they, they have the old stories that, oh, I can't do this or it takes too much time. So then it gets pushed to the bottom of the list and then it never happens. And then you have, you know, an email subscriber list who doesn't know who you are um, because you're not in contact with them. Um, let's see, what else? See, I should have prepared my bulleted list. I wanna make sure I'm covering everything. Um, you know, and like anything else, there are phenomenal PLR providers where you will always, always get excellent content. And then you have the other end of the spectrum where you open up the file and you're like, oh my dear God, you know, even if I only paid $5 for this, I'm like, that's a waste of $5. You know, there are plenty of PLR providers that go on Fiverr to find writers from other countries who are not native speaking English uh, language people. And I've edited tons of articles like that. You know, I, I have this one client, that's her go-to because she wants to save money. I'm like, but it will cost you less money to hire me in the first place. But she insists she wants to, do, and it's difficult, you know? And so sometimes this is passed off as PLR, which in, I mean, we're all in the States, you know, if this, I, I do not recommend that route. So like with anything, I would say, read your reviews. Um, I can, off the top of my head, I can give you, you know, some names to look for in the chat if, if you want to. And the other thing is you can find PLR for just about any topic. You know, I know there's, you know, health PLR is humongous. I'm sure, Michelle, that there's probably PLR all about cannabis 
and hemp and probably everything else that's in your business. Um, I have not written that personally, but I'm sure it's out there. Um, I do so work with can, a health. Can I ask you a quick question? So sure. there are no copyright laws on this PLR, on this, on this stuff? Like anybody can use it? If you purchase if you purchase the license, because when you make the purchase for PLR, you are purchasing a license, which should be included in the folder when you get your articles or whatever it is that you've purchased. And it will tell you exactly what you can and cannot do with the content in there. For instance, many PLR providers do not want you to give it away. Like they don't want, you're not going to be allowed to then resell it to somebody else. Okay. Um, I can't even say that's like the big one, you know, but it will say you can edit, you can add your own name to it. It's, it's essentially, it's a less expensive version of you hiring me to ghostwrite your content for you or consider, you know, advertising agencies. They have copywriters you know, dozens of copywriters writing multiple products and the copywriter's name is not on the finished ad. It's the company who has hired them. So it's essentially the same thing. When you purchase that license, you purchase the rights to do almost anything that you want with it. So no, there are no, there are no copyright issues. Now you will run into copyright issues if Michelle goes to April's website, copies and pastes an article and then posts it on her own website, you know, obviously that's wrong and that is an issue. But so long as you have legitimately purchased the product from the, the provider, you're good. I didn't even know that this existed. So it's, uh... and it, well, you know, and it's funny for me because this is what I've been doing for like a bazillion years. And then I was talking to somebody in another group in the class that I'm taking and they were like, what? what are you talking about PLR? I'm like, oh my, you know, so it's something that I've taken for granted for so long. I'm like, that's why I suggested it. So I'm like, holy crap, not everybody knows about PLR. <laughs> you know, I assume anybody who has an online business, you know, already knows. And well, you can never assume, Christina. I know. I should know that by now. I know. <laughs> I even tried Googling it and I was like, what's PLR? I should know this, I guess. And even that, like Googling it, it doesn't give you a very clear answer. So I was mm -hmm. like, well, I guess we'll find out when we, right. <laughs> when we go to Alpha. Now, there probably will be some niches that are not, that you will not find topics for. Like there was a whole online debate under a PLR provider's ad, actually. Mm -hmm. um, somebody who was in an academic field took offense to the fact that people would use PLR, you know, and, and put it off as their own. Obviously, if you're in academics or like serious medical or whatever, 